so we have seen till now an ideal simple linear regression model so we try to obtain our values of weights and biases given any two points on that uh, curve of our linear model i cannot call it as a curve it's a, it's a line of our linear model because i'm talking simple linear mo regression model so we just got to know that uh, y is equal to wx plus b is what we needed and in that i require only two points of x1 and y1 x2 and y2 in order to get the values of the weights and bias right so that was an ideal case now when i talk on practical case then being human and human eye we have got observational errors there can be errors while reading the points like what we just thought uh this particular thing right i told you assume x as 1 and then just check where it falls on to y there can be some error in the approximation of this value of course practically there will be errors so such errors are called as observation errors so observation error for any sample point also we have to consider here while we are writing any mathematical equation so for that we are considering here an observation error of epsilon and we are assuming that entirely these observational errors are normal distributed normal distribution in the sense then all these sample values the maximum of them are oriented across they are symmetrical across mean so to get the best out of it so we are assuming that this observation error is of normal distribution and it is incorporated now into this particular equation so here you can see that uh, now here you can see that um, you have got uh, y is equal to wx plus b plus epsilon here epsilon we are uh, telling that it is an observation error and that these observational errors that we are encountering they are all normally distributed and the distribution has got a mean mu and then a variance sigma square so you all know that a statistical distribution comes across with its mean and its variance based on which it will be determined so we are telling here that we are adding one more element here for practical uh, application which is observa observational errors and these observation errors they follow normal distribution with a uh, mean and a specific variance so now we are going to remodify our equation from y is equal to wx plus b to adding up an epsilon to it so now if i introduce an observation error in the previously determined model then even if it is a simple linear model again if there are only two data points are sampled then you could say that the estimation bias is going to be very high so if i take up any two points and i just see in place of this particular point I, i i have this point i have this point as my observation then you could see how much is the estimation bias right so uh, this particular model which has got an observation error associated with it you can see the if the estimation is based on these rectangular blue dots these rectangular blue data points then the estimated data line or estimated line here which is dotted in nature in blue color it would have pretty much deviation with the original or the true uh, model line which is orange in color okay so you can see that if my observation error Uh, if my observation is not good instead of taking this point originally and this point originally to estimate by line of linear model if i assume these rectangular blue points then you can see the outcome of this particular estimated line and the original line of uh, my linear model how much is the variation okay so you can see there's a large estimation bias which is coming here if there are more amount of if there is more amount of observation error so now what is the solution how do i reduce this estimation bias so 
in order to reduce this estimation bias which is introduced by observation errors you must sample multiple data points so till now we were considering telling that only two points are suffice to obtain the value of weight and bias but then when i told practically there will be observation error and if there is deviation it is going to introduce large amount of estimation bias so now i am coming to a point that no 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 two points but multiple data points have to be sampled if you want to have a perfect line of your simple model linear model okay so what i am assuming here is i am now taking it as a set of data points which i am calling it as d and i've got n number of multiple data points here so now if i really want to find out what i call here is a best straight line i should consider so many points such that it is going to minimize the sum of observational errors this is going to introduce one observational error this is going to introduce another so like that based on number of points sum of observational errors should be reduced a lot between all these sampling points and the straight line so the best fit line will be that line that is going to reduce the sum of these observational error and using that if you find out the weight and the bias that is going to be the best estimated weight and bias so i hope now uh, the aim is clear earlier we were taking only two points and we were concluding with weight and bias but practically it is not the case that is an ideal case practical case me you have got observational errors so how do i uh, how do i uh, get a best line then you have to accommodate lot more number of points instead of only two then if i accommodate lot more number of points then i will get more observational errors so which would be the best fit line there will be several lines which will be going through multiple points that you are taking which line to choose so choose only that line which gives you a minimum observation observational error so that's how this fundamental of best fit curve came into picture so best fit line or best fit curve for any other model is that line which gives you the least of the error okay so our aim is always to reduce the number of observational errors the sum of observational error so due to existence of observation error there may not be a straight line that is going to perfectly pass through all the sampling data points which we have considered so if you hope to find a good straight line which is close to all sampling points then your work is done so now how do i measure which straight line is a good straight line which straight line is a bad straight line the answer to this is mse mean square error now because we are talking on several errors which are associated with several point how do i find out which lines out of uh, the sample points that i have taken straight line is going to be the best straight line so the straight line which gives you least mean square error msc stands for mean square error average and squared why because error cannot be negative that's the reason you have to square it to make it a positive value and why do you have to take a mean to get an average value once it can be too big another could be too small that would create again a randomness in your solution so to fine tune it you have to always consider a mean value that's how the name came as mean square error so that's the solution to measure if a line is good or a bad line so now mean square error as i told you is calculated between the predicted value what is the predicted value for your model the inputs multiplied with their weights plus the bias this is your predicted value because we know i already explained you uh, i is equal to 1 to n w i x i plus b this is what i already told you is a model equation for an artificial neural network so this is your actual value and this is what you are predicting and you really want them to be very close to each other if they, there is any deviation then there is error so what you are trying to do is to reduce the error so when you want to reduce the error you have to make sure that this particular value should be as close as your actual value 
then your model is the best model and how are you going to make sure that this is approximately as equal to y by fine tuning your values of weights and biases right how do you fine tune how do you find out the best curve for it there will be several lines which are passing by calculating the line which has got least mean square error so what is this error mathematical equation as i told you here error is difference between actual value and predicted value right so your predicted value is wx plus b your actual value is y difference between both you can write it vice versa also y minus wx plus b also you can write this nothing uh, specific here so here i am considering predicted value and actual value which i desire and which i get the difference between them is going to give me the error of course so now i get the error here error is nothing but or you can error epsilon that we were discussing the error is nothing but the predicted value minus actual value now i am not talking error here i am talking mean square error so now i have got predicted minus actual squared so that's how here i have a square value correct now i want to take an average square value ka average so average va is nothing but sum of quantities by number quantities so sum of quantities ke liye you have a summation here and uh, the number of samples is 1 by n so once you take here in this format error squared mean you get a full fledged formula for a mean square here error which we call it as l okay so the straight line which correspond to minimum value of this particular total error is the best straight line or the optimum solution straight line that we are looking for so what are we looking for we were first looking for what is error then squared error then average error now we are concluding by telling that there are several straight lines which for which you will calculate this error straight line which is giving the minimum of this l value is your best straight line so what i am going to write conclude finally here is i will take the weights and bias or uh, the intercepts or uh, x intercept uh, the intercepts of um, the line the best line for which i have minimum value of this l okay so here i have writing uh, weight star and bias star that is updated or the correct or the best parameter of weights and bias of the best line is that the line which is going to give me the minimum value of this l so with this the optimal straight line equation that we conclude for this simple regression neuron model is a line with weight and bias equivalent to arg min value of this total error l that we have calculated for n is equal to number of samples all right one second okay so i think uh, we have concluded with a simple regression uh simple regression neuron model so you got to know how a regression neuron model is built and how do we optimize it how do we calculate uh, the total error and how do we pick up a best line out of it that is our simple regression neuron model in our next class we are going to see a hands on on how do you build a regression model